Hi, everyone. I want to share this video with you, this recording of uh, everything that we are determining to do to prepare for a relaunch or reopen date. As I shared in this past Sunday's service, Lord willing, we are targeting June 14th as the first Sunday where we'll open up the sanctuary. That can change. We want you to understand as a church council and your pastor that we have uh, prayerfully considered all the recommendations, everything that has been suggested to us, and we are seeking the wisdom of the Lord. I want to share with you, first of all, uh, what we have considered as far as our relaunching, our guiding principles. The principles that are the kind of the lens through which we are looking to make these decisions. We, first of all, know the promises of God's word. They're our only hope. We also know that as the public witness of the church, we want to protect that. Again, we're not going to be rebels, but we're going to represent Jesus Christ and do everything for his glory. Uh, we're praying about this. Uh, we're we're pr still praying about it, uh, if anything has to change. We're considering the particular needs of our congregation. So as we share some of these details, it's considering our congregation. We're also considering the plans of the local community, our state recommendations. Uh, we're, uh, we, we have uh, recommendations from the CDC for faith communities as uh, they prepare to relaunch and, and these protocols and recommendations. So again, we've, we've, we've researched a lot and we've taken into account a lot to come up with some of these recommendations. And so, again, our desire is to communicate with this video. Uh, it'll be on our, our website. Uh, we're, we'll communicate with email if there's any changes. Uh, and then on that Sunday and every Sunday, again, each week there may be something new. There may be other changes. But we are determined that we are going to have the safest environment, the safest place in our community. You know, better than where you get your groceries or uh, you stop to get gas, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the home improvement stores. We want our church to be safer than all of those areas. And so here's a sample template, uh, some of the specific recommendations of preparations that we're undergoing and procedures when we do have a Sunday service here in the sanctuary again. First of all, we're keeping the facilities sanitized as per the CDC interim guidance for communities of faith. Uh, we're going to be providing signing. When you walk in, there'll be signs just like you see everywhere else, posting uh, the importance of social distancing and where you cannot uh, meet those social distancing that you're wearing a mask. Uh, we are... Uh, encouraging frequent hand washing as you arrive. We will also have the hand sanitizers uh, throughout uh, the facility so that you can sanitize your hands. We are encouraging everybody that as they, if they do come, that they bring a mask. When you're in here, if you're able to be distanced from people appropriately, you do not, not have, do not have to wear the mask but have the mask with you if we need to wear the masks. We're also asking that those individuals that are at risk or in that vulnerable population, that you even stay at home. Be slower in returning uh, to our in-person services. We're going to have the online service every Sunday that will be right there live. Uh, so you'll see what's going on here. But we, we don't want you to feel pressure just to say, oh, they're open, so I have to be there. We want you to be safe. And so if you have any questions, please stay at home. But as you come here, we are going to do our very best to make you safe and to provide a safe environment. Where possible, as you come in here, there'll just be one-way traffic, 
we're minimizing the entranceways. The front entrance will not be used at all. We're going to focus primarily on the rear entrance, the rear parking lot, that people can come in there. And again, we're going to make sure there's not any two-way traffic wherever possible. We will have leadership that will be here that will help direct you as you come in. Our desire is that we're minimizing any contact as best we can. So the exterior doors will probably be propped open or somebody will open them for you so that you do not have to handle uh, the door handles and that you'll be able to come immediately into the sanctuary. Again, minimizing any contact with uh, 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 objects or people. The coffee and cafe stations that we have, they'll be closed. There will not be a coffee hour. There will not be any refreshments. They'll be closed at all times for the foreseeable future. Uh, the nursery and the children's ministry, ministry areas are going to be closed as well at all times and locked where possible. We do not want anybody going into areas that aren't necessary. So that being the case, the children uh, will have to be in the sanctuary with us. And to that end, uh, as we put the service together, we are going to endeavor to include something for the kids so that as they're here with us, uh, they'll be able to uh, focus on something as well. So there's not going to be any children's classes. There's not going to be any youth classes. There will be no Sunday school for the foreseeable future. We're just trying to have our morning worship service here each Sunday. And every family has to sit together. Every couple has to get sit together. You can't mingle with other families or other couples. Again, that six-foot separation is going to be maintained. When you walk into the sanctuary, it's not going to be how you remembered it. We're going to have, we're going to eliminate some of the rows. Again, we're going to have the spacing. So the chairs will be set up so that uh, there'll be single chairs, there'll be double chairs, there'll be uh, groups of chairs for family, uh, but there's going to be a separation uh, there so that, again, we maintain that six-foot social distancing. Again, uh, uh, we're not going to be directing anybody to shake hands. We're not going to encourage anybody to shake hands, hug, uh, anything like that. It's not going to be like, like church was uh, before for a while. So please understand that, and we have to adhere to that. We will, even in our services, as we begin the service, we will formally announce the need to maintain social distancing. Again, there'll be signage that indicates that, but we also are told that we need to announce it and encourage it. On the platform, the plat platform participants will also model the social distancing and we'll be, again, wiping down the instruments the microphones, everything will be prepared so that that will be safe for them as well. We've been recommended that the service length should be no more than 60 minutes. So again, a little bit different than our, our, our previous worship services for the time being. And so you can plan on about 60 minutes. That being the case, we're also instructed to minimize the use of the restrooms for emergency only. Uh, so again, everybody's different, uh, you know, different needs, uh, but uh, the restrooms will be open, but again, we're encouraging the minimal use of the restrooms. And again, when we use the restrooms, again, things have to be wiped down each time. There'll be no passing of offering plates. On Sundays when we have communion, we'll not be passing the communion emblems we have ordered and we'll have uh, the communion emblems that are safety sealed and uh, can be used individually. And so, uh, when, again, we'll give instructions about that on those Sundays when we do start to have communion. And then lastly, at the conclusion of each service, as we reopen, we must instruct everybody to be dismissed immediately and orderly. There cannot be any congregating and socializing at the end of our service. 
You could be outside, out in the parking lot, again, maintaining the social distancing, but we have been instructed that we need to encourage everybody that when the service is over, that uh, we dismiss orderly and with the social distancing. It's all about that, just like you've been doing uh, in, in a lot of the businesses. Uh, again, we are gonna do our best so that we can be open and we can begin to have at least a Sunday morning service uh, where we can come together. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Any concerns as well? Again, the church council, myself, as we've met, as we've researched this, this is kind of the template of what you can expect. And again, Lord willing, June 14th, we will be having a service here in the sanctuary. We will update you if there's any changes. We will be communicating anything and everything to the best of our ability. May God bless you, and we look forward to where we can worship together face to face. Have a wonderful day.